We're here to talk about the yellow pen. Yeah. Very nice. Am mm. I right? You are right. And you see how it looks like? It's like the good one. It's the good one. Yeah. Yeah. Would you say you can kind of see through it? Yeah. Bye-bye. And you also can, this is the awesome thing about it. You can see how much ink there is in it. Yeah, you can. You can see how much ink you have. No surprises, right? Yeah, no surprises. I don't like being surprised by my ink running out, right? Yeah, I like the good one. Good one. Does it write nicely, Norma? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah? Yeah. I think it writes it re really nice. It does. Uh, Indeed. It has yeah. a medium fine nib. Yeah. And um, this is a great nib size. I really feel like great. I... Nib size. I would have it forever if I had it. I would just like, mm -hmm. okay, when it get broken, I'll just buy a new one. Bam. Fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Do I let you use my pens? I don't know. A little you bit. You once did. Yeah. This one I'm not too afraid to let you guys use. No. But. Um, this one is very good at writing. Yes, and it writes every time for me. Yeah. Yeah, so here we've got a couple side-by-side -side comparisons. I've got a ton of Twisby Ecos, oh. a workhorse of a pen, and I've got one 1911, and of course, my yellow pen. Great pen. You like the yellow pen? Yeah. Yeah. And the 1911, Daddy, wonderful Daddy, writer. Daddy, Daddy. A uh, beautiful pen. Daddy uh, gave to mommy. Yes, Daddy gave it to mommy. It's significantly pricier than mm -hmm. the Compass, and I'm not sure I can really tell a difference between the steel and the gold nib personally. And then the Twisby Eco, <laughs> nothing can really beat out that ink capacity. Um, I have a bunch of these. I use them for my art. I don't run out of ink if I go on a sketching outing. Um, it's amazing. But what I reach for is this compass. I'm just like, oh, I just want to write with my yellow compass. It's got a nice clip on it. And I pretty much only write with it posted because otherwise it's a little too small. And, um, it's got that really cool clear feed, which is really neat. And, um... I just like how I get to see so much of my ink color while I'm writing. It's just really a party in the pen. Mm -hmm. Party in the pen. Party in the pen. With me. With you. A normal party in the pen. Yeah. Yeah. And I and have been putting a, an ink in it called Wild Strawberry. Mommy, Beautiful mommy. ink. Mommy. Beautiful ink. And... Mommy. Um, it just always writes really, really nice, and I bet it'd be great for lots of stuff, but when I use the combination of the medium fine nib yeah. with the wild strawberry, I have uh, very little of some of the things we always try to avoid, like feathering and bleed through, and, and it's got a great dry like time. This. Yeah. And then coming up here, this is the real magic of this pen. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Bye.